So there's no denying that Pokemon Sword and Shield and the rest of Generation 8 as it continues to go on represent the beginning of a major evolution for the Pokemon franchise as we continue to go further into the future. As Pokemon migrates over to a home console system in the Switch, gets access to higher sophisticated technology, which gives it more capabilities, and simply just gets older as time goes on, naturally you are going to start to see Pokemon do some things a little bit differently as they adapt to the times and also adapt to the technology that they have available to them. And it is with that being said that today I wanted to go ahead and talk about five major changes to the Pokemon franchise that we could very well see sometime in the future. Now, there is no real telling at what point we will see these things happen, or if we will even see them happen at all. But nevertheless, with the evolution of the franchise taking place right before our eyes, it is very possible that each and every one of these things could indeed happen in the very near future, or maybe somewhere further down the line as well. And all of these would provide for a very, very interesting dynamic as well if they indeed happened, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing I want to talk about here would be a major shakeup that would change something that is at the very core of the Pokemon franchise, but nevertheless I do believe it is a possibility at some point, and that would be the idea of introducing new starter Pokemon that are different types than Grass, Fire, and Water. The idea of this happening has been on the minds of fans for a very long time, so it's not like it's a new idea or anything like that. In fact, it definitely seems like Game Freak has also considered it as well, as it has been reported as early as of the days of Generation 4 and Diamond and Pearl that this is something that Game Freak has legitimately considered. It was hinted at by Game Freak via Yahoo back in the day that the starter Pokemon of Diamond and Pearl were actually going to be Psychic, Fighting, and Dark type. Obviously though, that did not happen, and we ended up getting the traditional Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup instead. Outside of this report though, it's really unknown how seriously Game Freak has ever considered this as a possibility at any point in time, but nevertheless, I feel like as we continue to go more and more into the future and Pokemon continues to get older and older, it is also more apt to change simply because it's been around for a really long time. So this is something that I could definitely see happening as a way for Pokemon to try and keep things fresh with their new game. And if I'm being completely honest, this is a change that I would absolutely love to see at some point in the future. Not necessarily saying that it is a permanent change, maybe it would just be for a game or two, but nevertheless I would love to see it happen because it would just be such a fresh new experience that would provide for an endless amount of possibilities and I think it would make for a lot of fun. This next one would also be a huge change for the franchise as a whole, however I feel like it's an inevitability at this point because we are actually in the beginning stages of this actually happening for real, and that would be the idea of Pokemon becoming a permanent console franchise. We all know that Pokemon up until right now with Pokemon Sword and Shield has always been a handheld exclusive franchise for their main series games, and that is something that has been very, very important to Game Freak because it's a part of what Pokemon is as a series. However, with the onset of the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo really not making a dedicated handheld system, instead opting for a single hybrid system that can play both on the go as a handheld and as a console on the TV, Game Freak was left with really no choice but to develop the main series Pokemon games for this console. And honestly, for Game Freak, it really is the best of both worlds, because they get to maintain their handheld roots with the Switch, but also at the same time they get to dip their toes into the water of what Pokemon could be like as a console franchise, where you can play it on the TV with access to a lot more graphical power and capability on a more powerful system like the Switch. But even if they are split down the middle with their console versus handheld experiences at this point, as we move into the 
future and we continue to get more consoles from Nintendo, I just feel like when it comes to where the future of Pokemon lies, the classic phrase, once you go black, you can't go back, becomes very applicable, however this time it is in the case of home consoles. Regardless of what Nintendo ends up doing with their future consoles past the Switch, I just don't see any way that Game Freak and the main series Pokemon games could go back to an exclusive handheld experience after being on a home console for Pokemon Sword and Shield and eventually the entirety of Generation 8. It's something that the fans have wanted for so long, we finally have it, obviously the series is benefiting from it as Sword and Shield have quickly become the fastest selling games in the series to this point, so with the massive success of these games, regardless of whether or not Game Freak likes the idea, I definitely think the main series Pokemon games are on track right now as we speak to becoming a permanent home console series. Another thing that I think the Pokemon series is going to grow into as time goes on that is started with this generation in Generation 8 is eventually becoming a series that is known for being completely open world. We saw the beginnings of this with the Wild Area in Sword and Shield, it's already progressing more towards that with the Sword and Shield expansions having their areas completely open world in their entirety, and eventually we're just going to continue to grow until we get to the point where we have a Pokemon game that is completely utterly open world and is completely seamless. I really don't think it's a debate at this point based on the way the Pokemon games are already progressing right in front of us, and I feel like a eventually within the next two to three years, we are going to see a Pokemon game that is completely and utterly seamless, and at that point, I feel like that's going to be the new standard for the franchise. This next one I definitely feel like is a possibility within the near future, just for the simple fact that we already know for certain that Game Freak has considered going this route already, and that would be the idea of changing up the combat system from a turn-based experience to a more open, free style experience. It was actually reported during the lead up to Sword and Shield that during the development of those games, it was actually considered to ditch the turn-based format and try something that was a little more open and freestyle that didn't rely on you waiting for your opponent to take their turn before you could make your next move. Additionally, this was also rumored during the earlier days of the lead-up to Sword and Shield's launch, so with all of this knowledge that this is a legit consideration within Game Freak itself, I really do feel like this is another one of those evolution-type things that even if it only happens for a game or two and it's not a permanent thing, I definitely feel like it's something that Pokemon is going to try at some point in the future. And I could actually imagine this style of gameplay working similar to how Pokémon Tournament works, for instance, where once you entered into a battle, you would actually get to take control of your Pokémon and play as them in a more real-time style battle, where once again, you're just trying to get your opponent's HP down to zero, and you really don't have to wait for them to make their next move. While this certainly would be a major shakeup, I think the idea of not only the real-time battles, but actually getting to play as your Pokemon and actually control them when they are battling is enough for this feature to actually be really appealing if it was introduced, even if it is a giant change from what we are used to. And the final thing I'm going to go over here that definitely could happen in the future that would also shake up a major long-standing mechanic of the games is the entire idea of version exclusive. Ever since Pokemon Red and Blue, there have been certain Pokemon in each game that are exclusive to one game or another. This is so the idea of trading with one another is incentivized in order to be able to get all the Pokemon, which increases the social aspect of the game, which Pokemon has had as one of its founding principles ever since it began. However, in today's day and age where everything is so interconnected from the outset thanks to the internet, there really isn't as much of a reason anymore to incentivize people to trade with things like version exclusive Pokemon. So I feel like this idea could slowly but surely start to fade away as we move further and further into this more technological and interconnected era. 
And in fact, we've already seen evidence of this type of thing happening with other mainstay type of features within the Pokemon series, such as trade evolutions. Trade evolutions have been a thing ever since Pokemon began, and once again were another incentive to get you to trade and play with other people. However, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, if I'm not mistaken, there is not one single new Pokemon that evolves after you trade it, which is definitely a direct result of this more interconnected connected era of time that we are currently living in, and I definitely think if it can affect things like that, then it definitely could affect the idea of version exclusives as well. However, with that being said, I don't think the idea of version exclusives is going to go away entirely. While it might not affect the Pokemon that you can find in each of the games anymore, I definitely think it will migrate into other things like gym leaders for instance, as we saw in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't think they'll go so far as to make one single game and ditch the dual version release entirely, because I definitely feel like if nothing else they will at least have different legendaries in each of the games, but other than that I definitely could see the regular version exclusive Pokemon become more and more of a rarity as time goes on to the point where maybe one day they won't even be a thing at all. Well, there we have it everybody, those were 5 major changes to Pokemon that could very well happen in the future. Now even though this was all just speculation, I definitely feel very confident in several of these that they could very well happen maybe even within the next 5 or 10 years. Pokemon is definitely going to go through a lot of evolution and change over that time as the series continues to grow older and we continue to get more sophisticated and powerful with our systems and our technology. However, this is definitely something that I don't feel like you should worry yourself over because I feel like these changes are only going to make Pokemon more interesting and exciting than anything else. If you enjoyed today's video though, be sure to give it a like because it really helps out, and let me know all of your thoughts about all of these possible changes in the comments below. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content all the time, and if you'd like to support the channel further, you can check out my Pokemon remixes on Spotify or my Pokemon Cardinal project if you haven't yet, both of which are very much appreciated. And with that being said, I will be back with another video on Saturday, so be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as it goes live. And with all of that being said, I love you guys very, very much, and until the next one, as always, I will smell you guys later.